Um, over here is an animation I created earlier. Um, let's see, control test movie. And it's showing you a couple of techniques that are going to be essential for you to understand if you were to, if you were to um, use anim, uh, 2D animation and animation programs in the future. Um, so if I, sorry, I'm going to test the movie so you can see what, I'm, what you're going to be creating. You have a fish that's blowing bubbles and swimming in a sort of funny looking ocean in the background here. Um, okay, so let's just start over. I'm going to say File New. I'm going to create a new document. Once I hit File New, uh, there's a couple of options here. Um, I'm going to stick to Standard here. It's kind of a, a size that might work better within this uh, screen dimensions, but you can also do HD, Full HD, 4K video. Thing to remember though, if you're going to wor work with an animate, the size doesn't really matter that much because um, it's a vector graphics program, so it does scale infinitely. But if you know that you're going to be exporting this, let's say to, a, to HD, then it, it, then it, it might make sense to work in a different format. Well, let me just click HD for now um, and say Create. Okay, the first things uh, we're going to look at is something called the frame rate at the bottom here. It says FPS down here. If I double click on this, um, I should be able to change the frame rate. I don't know why it's not changing right now. but. Uh, Anyway, um, there's other ways to change it as well. Um, so down here, so this is your canvas. I'm going to make it, let me just zoom out a bit so you can see the whole canvas. Let's say 50%. Um, I don't know why it's, um, well, I can, anyway, let me straighten it out. Okay, here we are. This is my canvas. Okay, no longer straight. Uh, okay, it's kind of annoying. But anyway, okay, here we are. It's my canvas and it's kind of straight, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know why anybody would want to work on a canvas that's crooked, but. I'd look at that feature it gives you. Anyway, so that's my canvas. Um, then over here is my timeline. Within the timeline, I have different layers. So you can see that over here, there's a layer um, icon similar to the similar to Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator. So I can I can do layers. And then here is a frame rate. So here we have 30. So 30 frames a second. We, we're now th this animation is playing at, at 30 frames a second. So it means so, so it means that this is going to be 30 seconds long. So if I have stuff happening within this timeline it's going to take one second. So it actually tells you up, up here that's about one second. So in the simplest way animation works is, is, is I have a frame right here. So I can, let me just draw something quickly over here. So I'm going to draw, I don't know, a face. Um, and then I'm going to create a, a keyframe on frame five. And the way I create a keyframe is I right click on it and I say insert keyframe or double, or, or, or double click if you have a trackpad on a Mac. Um, Okay, and then I'm going to create another keyframe here. Why not? Or actually, sorry, so this one has the face. On the on, on keyframe 5, I'm going to give this guy some hair. Let's say, why not? It's going to be a really random animation. And here I'm going to say another one, insert keyframe. I'm going to give him a body. And on keyframe 15, I'm going to say, insert keyframe. And I'm going to I don't know, give him some legs. And then maybe on frame 20 over here is where I will give him a, what am I going to do, some sort of like sparkly type thing, whatever that is. And then here I'm going to now, instead of instead of making it five keyframes, I'm going to create a keyframe right next to it. I'm just going to insert keyframe, and then I'm going to create, you know, I don't know, maybe this is going to be kind of bizarre, but anyway, I'm going to create some more of these sparkles, insert keyframe, even, even more, and then insert keyframe, and create some more. Insert keyframe, and this is my last one. So this, see, we, you can see there's five keyframes right next to each other. And then here I'm going to create one more on frame 30, and then I might just, I don't know, create a circle around this guy. So it's a very bizarre animation. I can scroll through it. So what's going to happen here? Over here I have a face. Then it gets hair. Then it gets a body. Then it gets feet. And then here I have it sparkle and then I have a circle around it. So you can see what's happening here. So there's, there's more space between this, these two, so that happens slower. And then because here the keyframes are very close to each other, it happens very fast. So you can see the sparkles happen fast, and then I have the circle happening. So that's basically traditional frame-by-frame -frame animation, the way you would do it you know, way back when, before computers even, and it was hand-drawn, this is the way it would work. Um, one thing you'll notice, though, that this thing will all happen in one second because it's we're running at 30 frames a second. So if I test this movie, I don't think you'll even notice it. We can test it out. Control, test movie, and animate, and you'll see this thing's going to happen so fast that it's 
basically, yeah, well, there it is. In one second, you have all this stuff happening. So one thing we can do is we can uh, slow the whole thing down either by just increasing the frame rate, the, the, the spacing between these frames. So I could, for example, select these frames and move this whole thing over and that would create more space. This, this would happen now slower and I could do this individually. Or um, I could just de decrease the frame rate for the whole document. So one thing to do, the way I would do that is I would go to, see, I thought I could just double click on this. Yeah, I can, I don't know why I didn't do that. Anyway, so I can just double click on this and create and, and change it 12 frames a second, for example. Um, that didn't work. Uh, maybe I have to select the whole, let me just see, let's select the whole thing. Can I now change it to 12 frames a second? No. It doesn't let me do that. I don't know why that is, but I think this is the number of frames. But anyway, the way you can do it as a whole document, you can just say modify document, and then down here is where you have the frame rate, yes, and instead of 30, I'll say 12, and I'm going to say OK, and now you'll see that the frame rate has automatically changed to 12 frames a second. So now if I play this animation, you'll see that now if it's 12 frames a second, then, then 30 or 35 frames that I have now is roughly 3 seconds. So this whole animation, control, test, movie, and let's see, in animate, is going to happen a lot slower. Okay. So that is the basics of kind of frame by frame animation, how to create keyframes within Adobe Animate. Then you have layers. So for example, here I have an animation here. Let's just say in the background you wanted a sun to rise or something like that. What I could do is create a new layer over here. I drag that layer below this layer. And then what I would do is I would, I, I don't know, I could create, let's say, a big, this is kind of weird, but anyway, I'm gonna create a big sun. It's not really the right color, but that's fine. I could always change the color later. Um, where are the color palettes here? I think it is. So I'm going to change the color to something like that. I could also do swatches. It's changed a little bit from how it used to be, but that's fine. Anyway, the color is here. I'm going to drag that whole layer down here. I'm going to drag it down here. And you, you get what I'm doing. I can do, so as this is happening, I could have that bottom um, layer go up, for example. Um, and actually, to the easiest way to do that is to do something called a motion tween, which I haven't actually talked about yet, but I quickly show you. So here's my circle that I've created. What I'm going to do is say modify um, symbol. And sorry, it's going to be modify, not modify, what am I doing? Convert. Do I modify? Let's modify symbol um, or convert. Let me just see. Like if I right click on this, uh, what I want to do is. is uh, one second, sorry. Convert to symbol that I'm looking for. So convert to symbol. And then I'm going to, movie clip is fine. I don't know, I can name it, for example, sun. And when, once it's a movie clip, what you'll notice is that there's a big square that happens around it. So like a square box around it. That lets it know that that's a symbol. And now what I can do is I can animate that symbol. And, the way, and one way to do that is I just create, um, so I will go on this, onto this layer. I'll make a motion tween. So I'll say create motion tween. And then I'm going to go to the, and now you see how the, the color changes automatically. That's me know there's a tween on that layer. And now on this is where I have it to start. So I go to the very end of this, this frame. And I now drag this up. And what should happen is I should now have, you'll see what happens. It automatically creates a tween that basically brings it from this layer, from this direction, all the way to this location over here. And I can even, if I wanted to, I can now even modify, you know, how it goes, the path it takes. So now I have this thing, you'll see it sort of follows that path. And you can see that it happens be behind this other animation because it's on the layer below that. So I'm going to stop now. We've covered quite a few concepts, um, but yes, let's do that.